So this workflow lets you create content like this. After 12 hours on my feet, my brain still won't sleep until I found this one. Weber Naturals Melatonin and I'm out fast. Wake up feeling human again. This. My skin looked tired after long shifts. Then I tried Soul 1988 Serum. Now my skin feels smoother, firmer, alive again. All you have to do is fill the form and you get your videos right away. That's ready to be posted on your socials. I'll show you exactly how I built it what tools are used and why. And if you want to grab this workflow for free, just click the link in the description below. So we're in the form. We type in a video title, say user generated content one. For a character description, we're gonna say an older Filipina, an older Filipino working woman. And for the setting description, so what's the setting look like in the video, we're gonna say in their car after a shift working as a nurse typical Filipino for the dialogue. So before we put in a dialogue, first we have to determine what product they will be selling. Let's say a melatonin. We'll take a look at this Healthy Planet Canada melatonin. Generate me a UGC dialogue for this product. Okay, so after we put in the dialogue, we add an image for a character and the product as well. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this image and download it. Now we're going to generate a Filipino character and I just found a perfect one. So we're going to take this. Okay. Now you put in your character image and your product image. Okay. So in the character, we're putting in our Filipino Tita and then for our product, we're putting in the melatonin that we found. Okay. So now that we have those references, then for our video model, we just choose Nano Banana. You can have the option to change video model as well, but I didn't implement it for this specific workflow. And for the aspect ratio, you get to choose between vertical and landscape. So, so after this, just click submit. So after we click submit, check on our workflow and now it's running. All right. So how this works is first listens to the form. Once the form is submitted, the workflow triggers. And from there, both of the images is uploaded to Cloudinary because Cloudinary allows us to upload images on it and we can access that image via a URL. Let's say we're trying to access our image here. All we have to do is copy the code. If we paste it on the URL, we get a good sized image ready to be processed. Great thing about Cloudinary is that for their freemium, 25 free credits is pretty much about one gigabyte of images, videos, or raw material, if I'm not mistaken. So after uploading it to Cloudinary, it is then merged together. That way we could grab the URLs and upload the information and the image URLs to our database. And in this case, we are using no code DB. And of course you could always change this to Google Sheets or Airtable. A free alternative is Google Sheets. So if we look over to our database, here's our form input and Here's the two links that were created from Cloudinary. And if we click on this, the uh, images that we uploaded. So instead of uploading the large image file, we just grab a reference from Cloudinary. So after that form is being uploaded into our database, here we have an AI agent that uses the latest ChatGPT 4.0 and analyzes the images that were given into text. So it grabs both the character reference and the product reference and describes it in text. And after it analyzes the image, we have an AI agent here that generates the image prompt and the video prompt. So it generates the prompt for Nano Banana and then also generates the video prompt for VO3. And after that, it stores the prompt again to our database. And then step two is it creates a nano banana image. So we get the uh, generated image prompt and the image reference, and it goes into a sub workflow that creates a nano banana image. So if we go into that sub workflow, so he, from here we see the generation of image and for image generation, we use key.ai. So with key.ai, great thing about it is it allows access to video image and music models in one API. So we don't have to call all different types of APIs. We can just call key and we can access pretty much all models. So pretty much most popular models. So for image generation, text to image, here we have ChatGPTs, we have Seadream, Google's Imogen, and then for video generation, for image to video, we have Sora 2, we have VO3, Bond 2.5 and Seadance. So it saves us from putting our money in different types of models and we can just put it into key AI and get 
everything we need. So after it generates the image, it stores it back to our database. So if you remember our character and product references, if we take a look at the generated image here, so based off the character, I don't know why we didn't have the glasses and the hat, I guess, because it understood. We have the uh, product right here and we have our Filipina woman right here. And look, and they even took the liberty of making it look like she works at Weber's Natural. Pretty cool. All right. So from this generated image, it takes that image again and it creates a VO3 video. So from image to video. And if we look at the workflow for VO3, it's pretty much similar to the workflow of our image generation where it calls key AI and uses VO3. For this one, we're using VO3 fast. After it generates the video, it stores it back to our database. So from that, it looks like this. After 12 hours on my feet, my brain still won't sleep until I found this one. Weber Naturals Melatonin and I'm out fast. Wake up feeling human again. All right, so that's pretty much our UGC video generator. And you could use these videos for your TikTok shop and, and even generate avatars for your product or even use your face for your product. Subscribe for free to my newsletter to get this exact workflow, plus all my AI tools, templates, and content automation tips.